Every year, high school students from across all of LA City come together to battle it out for the honor of winning the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Regional Science Bowl trophy and a trip to the National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. This year, the LADWP is celebrating its 25th anniversary of hosting the Los Angeles Regional Science Bowl. The National Science Bowl started in 1991, with regional competitions all over the country, including Northern California. But sadly, Los Angeles was not included in those first two years. There was no LA Regional until 1993. Uh, the department, along with Edison Gas Company, some of the smaller cities and JPL were approached by the Department of Energy's Western Era Power Administration out of their Sacramento office and they wanted to try to make sure that they would they had covered Los Angeles with a regional competition. But knowing that Los Angeles Unified School District had a strong presence in the academic decathlon, Walter Zeisel, manager of education outreach for the Department of Water and Power, took on the fight to bring the Science Bowl to the city of Los Angeles. So I felt that we had a, probably enough students around the city that if they participate in Science Bowl, they might be somewhat successful given the history of, of decathlon. And so I approached our uh, division head that was in charge of conservation, since he had the connection with the Western Air Power Administration, and asked them if we could go in to host our own regional, basically covering the city, and management agreed. The only issue was the Department of Energy policies required a local office or contracted lab to sponsor any new regional competitions. That is where the Energy Technology and Engineering Center, or ETEC, just outside of Simi Valley, stepped in. And so the first year in 1993 was held at ETEC, and we had at that point um, 16 high schools and 16 teams. Thanks to a successful first year and some staff changes at ETEC, a decision was made to bring the Los Angeles Science Bowl to 111 North Hope Street, the Department of Water and Power's downtown headquarters. Management was okay with it, but then I had to get volunteers, so I approached the president of the Power Engineers Club, and uh, they, he agreed, and the club agreed to help serve as the volunteers. So the first year um, that was held at uh, JFP, the headquarters, was in 1994. In the beginning years, it wasn't all on Walter's shoulders. He had lots of help from two other LADWP staffers, who to this day still work closely with him to put on the event every year. One is George Rafael, who was a mechanical engineer, now is the director of customer service. Uh, he's been the longtime chair of the volunteer committee and he was involved. And then Tim Hemming, who was the um, manager of the chemistry lab, um, he, was, he was actively involved from the very first year as well. The competition those first years was great, but it took a few years for an LADWP regional winner to go on to challenge the best of the best in Washington, D.C. and bring home a national title. The, th the, th the uh, third year, 1995, Van, Van Nuys High School won the region and went on to capture the national title. But one win was not good enough for Los Angeles. Uh, the next two years, in 96-97, Venice won the region and the national title, uh, so that we had three national winners in a row between 95 and 97, and then North Hollywood won another one in 2001 as far as national titles. Thanks to the hard work of Walter, George, Tim, and the rest of the staff and volunteers from the LADWP, Los Angeles became a region to watch out for in the years ahead. To me, that's one of the, one of the, uh, one of my, I think, accomplishments in my career that I'm the most proud of is the foresight to be able to see that we should have our, our own region. And part of that is 
because of the success of the, of the LA Unified District at the uh, uh, Academic Decathlon. I mean, the Academic Decathlon, I believe they've been involved something like 35 years, and I think during that time they've won more than half the national titles and, 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 state, and state titles. And we have some of the same schools that are in Academic Decathlon, a lot of them are also in Science Bowl too. In the early days, the LADWP Science Bowl required about 40 to 50 dedicated and devoted volunteers to run smoothly. Now, the volunteers needed every year number over 100. Well, frankly, we would have a very challenging time trying to not only manage the Science Bowl, but to be able to run the competition without the volunteers. And they, they're an essential part of the program, so much so that to me, the priority has been working and maintaining the work of the volunteers, even more so than the sponsors, because you can give less prizes, but you can't really hold um, a competition um, around between two teams. Um, in this case, we have 18 separate rooms going in the round robin at one time, and you can't, you can't run the competition without the volunteers. It's impossible. Many of the volunteers at this year's event have been with the Science Bowl for years. The first year I didn't know what I was getting into um, and then you just kind of fall in love with it when you see the students and you realize that what you're doing here is for the benefit of them and the community. It, it, it draws you to want to come back and we have great volunteers, uh, great staff that helps, great students, so you, you just want to come back every year. The one thing I would say to the people putting Science Bowl together is thank you. Thank you so much. You made, you changed my life. You've changed so many people's lives. It's really just an amazing experience. And I'm really just thankful for all the opportunities I've gotten because of Science Bowl and in Science Bowl. It's just incredible. And I, I, I can't be thankful enough for that. I just want to say to all the volunteers, what you do, it means so much to the kids and so much to this competition. And this competition is something that they're going to have for the rest of their life. So it's really, your time is greatly appreciated. I really do thank all the people that uh, put this all together because they are actively helping kids enjoy just knowing. Thank you to all the volunteers because we could not do Science Bowl uh, in any way, shape, or form without you. As with every year before, all of the volunteers and staff involved in the production of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Regional Science Bowl are excited to see where the 25th anniversary competition is going to lead us. It looks like this year's competition is going to be pretty intense. When a meteor strikes the Earth, it can eject rocks at 10 kilometers per second by accelerating them over 4 meters. In kilometers per second... Coming off a nail-biting final between North Hollywood A-Team and their own B-Team last year, the question on everyone's mind is, can North Hollywood keep up their momentum? Or is the Sherman Oaks Center for Enriched Studies, or SOSIS, going to give them a run for their money? Just before this year's competition, we had a chance to talk with the new captain of the SOSIS A-Team to share with us how things went down for his team. We were, we were honestly just shocked. We were, we were praying that we'd get on stage. We didn't know if we were actually going to make it or not. I mean, we practiced a lot and we tried really hard, but when you're, when you're in a city with so many bright kids, you never know. You never know. So we think we did really well. Um, if, if I'm correct, um, we haven't done that well since 2012, so it was quite exciting to, uh, to get back to that form. If you remember, last year, Sosis took it to the stage against North Hollywood and really gave them a run for their money. So we're a bit fortunate because our team didn't really change that much. Our team is the same core. We, we had um, three juniors and one senior last year as our A team. And, and you know, our, the, the captain left, but it's still the three of us, you know, ourselves with three musketeers because um, we've been in it for three years together now because it's the same core even sophomore year we had the same team so 
Uh, not, nothing's changed that much. Everyone knows what they're good at. Everyone practices what they need to practice. Um, so in terms of losing stuff, yes, we lost our best buzzer. But I think um, in this past year, we've more than compensated for that. We might even be a better team, I think so. We have found that all of the teams generally practice for this competition the same way. Buzzing, studying, quizzing, team bonding, and buzzing some more. The most common linkage between successive monomers in the cellulose, W alpha 1 4, X alpha 1 6, Y beta 1 4. Like everything else in life though, many of the players have their favorite parts of the practices. Uh, we practice every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for about two hours until five o'clock. And then our, my favorite part is when we all don't get a question and then we all spend a long time on that one question and at the end someone actually figures it out and it's really fun when we do that. I think the best part about that is in the process of looking for the answer there's usually very loud arguments. So I, think I'm, I think this is it and then like oh no you have a different opinion but when we finally figure it out that, that sense of satisfaction and like pride in yourself you figured something out I think that's really that's really nice feeling. I got such a cliche answer. My favorite part of practice has got to be the buzzing. It's, it's, it's so fun. Of course I love studying my subject. I love biology. I just, I love all of Science Bowl, but buzzing is just a feeling like no other. Like the adrenaline associated with it, it's just amazing. It's incredible and I love it. <laughs> my favorite parts of practice would be getting a chance to hang out with my teammates and studying and diversing myself in topics such as physics, which isn't really my strong suit, and getting to hear from Malia about stuff that she's done in physics, and Alina bringing up weird biology facts that I probably didn't want to know. In an average adult human body, there's 206 bones, but we are born with around 402. Uh, favorite part of practice for me is definitely playing alongside my teammates. Um, I started in middle school, and so I've known these guys for five, six, seven years, some of them even actually longer. Um, so definitely just being alongside my friends for two, three hours doing Science Bowl, doing something I enjoy is, is the best part. So an average red blood cell travels around the body 25,000 times. As the years go by, all of the teams face the reality that one or two players may move on due to graduation. And new players are gonna take their place. Um, so the A team lost one of our players, he graduated, uh, he was a very, very strong player so it was a bit of a hit, but our other three that stayed from last year have only grown last year, so I'm very confident in their abilities. You know, we had a, a team full of juniors, and now they're all seniors. Typically, you know, they're excited. You know, we finished second two years ago, uh, and we're better now, and uh, you know, again, as seniors, they want to give their best. Murad Avyakulov, team captain from Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies, or LASIS, and currently a senior, is one of those players. Well, I, given that it's my senior year, I, I definitely want to end on the best note that I can. Um, even more so for my coach, he's been with us for a long time. And so I think it'd be, it'd be good if we went out, not only for ourselves, but for him, and uh, as a way to pay homage to what he's done for us. One of the newest players to the Laces team is actually a sophomore. So I started in eighth grade and I was a team for middle school and I didn't do it last year but I started again. I mean I did some of the summer practices but I didn't do it during the year and I started again this year. I was taking AV classes and stuff so you know that adjustment I really needed. I'm pretty close with the younger set. Um, older set, I mean, this is sort of my first time like interacting with them, so not as much, but I respect all of them and I think they genuinely respect me. But as we hear from many of the competitors, Science Bowl is yes. not all about the competition. It's also about the relationships you make along the way. Yes. Bonding with my teammates, that's something I really enjoy. Um, we, every time we went to, when we went to competition, when we came home from scrimmage, we brought back inside jokes. Um, every time we do a round, where it's, there's an inside joke that we come back to school, that we shout down the hallways and only we know, and I feel like that's something we'll have for a while. These guys are, we've put in a lot of time together, working towards a common goal, and that, that brings us together as a unit. And, um, and even beyond Science Bowl, you know, we, we like to crack jokes, we like to hang out at lunch, uh, we like to spend time with each other, 
and I think that's really a testament to how close we've gotten. I think one of the best parts of friendship we created is that we hear, we're really comfortable with each other, so we'll share all our like some secrets and stuff that you usually wouldn't tell like just anyone, but we know that we trust them enough that they're going to keep our secrets and they can help us when we need the help. The team, just being in a team is really nice. I've done sports before, I've done, I've done so many different group activities and really Science Bowl is the best one I've done. It's, it's, a, it's like a family and we all get to kind of bond with each other and it's really nice. And you know, of course the competitive aspect is great, but that's always the best part. Well, I like, I like practicing and stuff, but I mean, I feel like the community is like the best part. Like, I mean, we have like, somebody will always make like a funny pun or something and it will like brighten my day up. So yeah, I feel like the people almost more than the science itself is what makes it special. If you are a student in the Los Angeles Unified School District and you love making new friends, learning new subjects, and challenging yourself mentally, then you need to consider the Los Angeles Regional Science Bowl. Science Bowl is a great competition. Uh, you really want to get to know science and, uh, and challenge yourself in a, uh, in a fun uh, game setting. Uh, nothing better than Science Bowl, so come out and join us. They get to study things that they wouldn't normally get to in class, they get to find areas of science that they maybe wouldn't have been exposed to until they were in college and now they might develop passions. Science Bowl is challenging and it definitely takes time and practice and you need to put effort into it, but through it you get teamwork and you, get, you can get new friends, you um, learn new information, you also gain new information, you learn stuff about other subjects you wouldn't have actually went to search for by yourself. So it's a lot of fun things and interesting things if you like science and, or math or physics. It, it shows you what you're actually capable of. Um, science will show me that you know, if I can work hard enough, I can do anything I want, really. So I, I would tell that person, do it, not because it's easy, but because it's probably the hardest thing that you're going to do in high school. and because. It will show you a lot of what you're made of, and what you're good at, and what you want to do. As the competition begins to heat up in the double elimination leading to the finals in the auditorium, let's head out to the parking structure and check in on the Franklin Lou hands-on competition. This competition pits over 32 teams from up to 29 schools in a task to build a sailboat and a fan that will be used to propel the sailboat down an eight foot long rain gutter or aqueduct as fast as possible using the fan. All of the teams receive a supply bag including all of the same pieces of material for their build. The teams will have two unofficial attempts at the aqueduct where they can try out their vessel, then go back and make changes to their design before performing the final timed trial. This year, John Marshall High School took home the Franklin Lou Memorial Trophy for their sailing vessel, and each of their team members received a $250 Office Depot gift card from a Water and Power Community Credit Union scholarship. Fauché Learning Center, El Camino Charter High School B Team, and New Designs Charter High School A Team placed in second, third, and fourth. Congratulations to all of the teams and their coaches for giving it their best at this year's competition. Now let's head back into the auditorium and catch some of the semi-final action between Laces and North Hollywood's B Team as it's just getting underway. Uh, again, the now semi-finals. Toss of one, Earth and space, short answer. What superior planet in our solar system has the shortest synodic period? A1. Neptune. That's correct. Your bonus is Earth and space, short answer. Identify all of the following three solar system objects that obey Kepler's law, laws in their orbit. One, short period comets. Two, long period comets. Three, moons of Jupiter. Two and three. That is incorrect. We're looking for all three. Toss of two, biology, multiple choice. 
Which of the following embryological traits are shared between snails and humans? W, somite formation. X, notochord. Y, true coelom. Z, deuterostome development. That's B3. Y. That's correct. Your bonus is biology short answer. Identify all the following three substances that would contain relatively high sugar levels in a person with diabetes mellitus. One, blood. Two, urine. Three, saliva. Definitely blood and urine. Yeah, why would this look like diabetes mellitus, right? Yeah, saliva. Yeah, just saliva. saliva. I don't think so. Do you think so? No, 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 no. no. I would say blood and urine. It's a one, two. Yeah. One and two. That is correct. Toss of three, energy, multiple choice. Scientists at Argonne National Lab mapped out proteins in the genome of Acinotobacter to better understand enzymes adopt, adapted to metabolizing aromatic compounds. Which of the following polymers is likely to be broken down by these enzymes? W, hemicellulose. X, pectin. Y, lignin. Z, collagen. A3? X. Incorrect. B1? Z. Also incorrect. It was Y, lignin. Toss up four, physics, short answer. An engineer designs a step-down transformer to convert 120 volts RMS down to 10 volts RMS. If the primary winding has 720 turns, interrupt by B captain. 60. That is correct. Your bonus is physics, short answer. A 100 turn square coil with side length 50 centimeters carries a current of two amperes. If the coil is placed in a 0.2 Tesla uniform magnetic field at an angle of 30 degrees between the coil's normal and the magnetic field lines, what is the induced torque in Newton meters on the coil? Five seconds. Five. That is correct. Toss of five, math, short answer. What is the largest prime factor of 154? That's B2. 11. That's correct. Your bonus is math, short answer. What is the standard deviation of the following list of four numbers? Six, eight, eight, and 18. Five seconds. Five. Five. Uh, that's incorrect. It was square root of 22. Toss up six, chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following elements is most likely to possess a negative stable oxidation state? W, aluminum. X, tellurium. Y, lanthanum. Z, cesium. B3? X. That's correct. Your bonus is chemistry, short answer. Identify all the following three statements that are true of cycloalkanes. One. In one bromocyclohexane, the bromine will preferentially sit in an equatorial position. Two, the smaller a substituent is on a cyclohexane, the larger the preference for the equatorial conformation. Three, a chlorine atom in the axial orientation results in less energy cost than an ethyl group in the axial orientation. Five seconds. One and three. That is correct. Toss up seven, biology, multiple choice. An insertion mutation of how many base pairs is least likely interrupt by B captain? Three. That's correct. Yes. Your bonus is biology, multiple choice. Which of the following groups of animals demonstrates holoblastic cleavage during development? W, birds, X, lizards, Y, mammals, Z, fish. Holoblastic. Fish. Birds? Um, probably not mammals. Probably not mammals. Birds, lizards, and fish. Maybe say, maybe say birds and lizards. Five seconds. Fish. Uh, that's incorrect. We're looking for Y, mammals. Toss up eight, <coughs> physics, multiple choice. A student throws a tennis ball at the ceiling, which is four meters above her head, her hand. If the tennis ball is traveling at nine meters per second when it leaves her hand, which of the following speeds in meters per second is closest to the speed of the tennis ball when it hits the ceiling? 
W, 1.6, X, 2.6, Y, 4.1, Z, 9.0. A2? Y. Incorrect? B2? X. Also incorrect, it was W, 1.6. <coughs> Toss of nine, earth and space, multiple choice. Which of the following is closest to the average depth in kilometers below Earth's surface at which rock deformation transitions from brittle to ductile? W, 30, X, 100, Y, 400, Z, 1000. That's A1. W. That's correct. Your bonus is Earth and space, short answer. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of ocean waves. One, waves travel more slowly in shallower water. Two, longshore currents created by waves run perpendicular to the shoreline. Three, as the water beneath a wave shallows, the wavelength becomes longer. Not one. Two is true. None. None. That's incorrect. The answer we're looking for is one. Toss of ten. Math. Short answer. Point P is one of the vertices of a 48-sided convex polygon. How many diagonals of the polygon have point P as an endpoint? B, Captain? 45. That's correct. Your bonus is math, short answer. Give the parametric equations in terms of t for the line that is parallel to the vector 4i plus 7j minus 3k and that passes through the point 5 comma negative 6 comma 10. It's parallel to this and it passes through this point. And give the parametric and then minus 3t plus 10. Five seconds. X is equal to 4t plus 5, y equals to 7t minus 6, and z is equal to negative 3t plus 10. That's correct. Toss up 11, energy multiple choice. DOE scientists at Fermilab are collaborating with CERN counterparts on the high luminosity LHC upgrade planned to be completed in 2025. This upgrade will increase which of the following? W, the energy of LHC protons. X, the number of protons in the LHC beam. Y, the frequency of gamma photons produced by the LHC. Z, the sensitivity of LHC calorimeters. That's A, Captain. W. Incorrect? That's B1. Z. Uh, also incorrect, we're looking for X. And we'll have a two minute break at the half. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready to go ahead and uh, get started again. This is the, the second half of the semifinals. Uh, do we have any substitutions from either team? Nope. All right, all set. Any questions? Judges, everyone good? Let's go ahead and dive right in. This is toss-up number 12, chemistry, short answer. What is the order of a reaction in which the rate of formation of its only product is independent of change interrupted by B. Captain? First. That's incorrect and I interrupt four points for team A and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss of 12, chemistry short answer. What is the order of a reaction in which the rate of formation of its only product is independent of changes in concentrations of any of the reactants? A1? Zero. That's correct. Your bonus is chemistry multiple choice. Which of the following statements concerning the hydrogen atom is not true? W, the 2s and 2p orbitals have the same energy. X. The ground state energy is negative. Y, the 3D orbital has two to total nodes. Z, the angular wave function for the 2S orbital is proportional to the sine of the polar angle. Did you guys get all that? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not W. Ground state is negative. 3D has two nodes. That's, what's, what's L of that? Zero, one, two, two. Five seconds. Z. That is correct. Toss of 13, biology, multiple choice. Which of the following is not a disease vectored by ticks? W, Borreliosis. X, Lyme. Y, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Z, Malaria. That's B, Captain? Z. That's correct. Your bonus is biology, multiple choice. To which of the following organisms are eukaryotic flagella thought to be most closely genetically structurally similar? W, amoeba, X, red algae, Y, spirochetes, Z, diatoms. Maybe. Wait, what was the last one? Diatoms. Diatoms. No, no, no. 
don't think it's an LG either. Yeah. Five seconds. W. That's uh, incorrect. We're looking for Y, spirochetes. Toss of 14, math, multiple choice. Let f of x be a continuous and differentiable function on the closed interval 4, 8. Which of the following could be the x value guaranteed by the mean value theorem for this situation? W, 1, x, 4, interrupt by B. Captain. Y. That's correct. 7. Your bonus is math. Short answer. Solve the following equation for x. 6x minus 5 equals the absolute value of open parenthesis 3x minus 7, close parenthesis. 3x, that's equal to, can I make it 2 thirds? 7 minus 3x, x. So I got 4 thirds. So 4 thirds. Five seconds. Hold on. 4 thirds. X equals to 4 thirds. That's correct. Toss up 15, energy, short answer. A recent SLAC study observed how certain light-emitting nanocrystals change size in response to ultra-fast pulses of light. What is the term for these materials which contain spatially confined excitons that they studied? Time. The answer was quantum dots. Toss of 16, physics, multiple choice. Which of the following is closest to the separation distance required to form a one picofarad capacitor from two one centimeter radius coins? W, one nanometer. X, one micrometer. Y, one millimeter. Z, one meter. The A2? Y. That's correct. Your bonus is physics short answer. Muon catalyzed fusion is an example of a cold fusion reaction that occurs appreciably at room temperature. This process occurs once one of the electrons in a hydrogen molecule is replaced by a muon, a particle 196 times as heavy as an electron. By what factor is the spacing between the hydrogen nuclei multiplied? Uh, six, 14, 14, 14. Yeah, it's 14. 14. 14. That's incorrect. The answer is 1 over 196. Toss up 17, earth and space, multiple choice. What is the term for apparent change in a star's position across the celestial? Interrupt by B1. Parallax. That's incorrect, and interrupt. Four points for team B, A, and I'll read you the question in its entirety. Toss up 17, Earth and space, multiple choice. What is the term for apparent change in a star's position across the celestial sphere? W, regular motion. X, solar motion. Y, proper motion. Z, stellar motion. A1? Y. That's correct. Your bonus is Earth and space, short answer. What is the term used in astronomy for the distance from a star beyond which hydrogen-bearing compounds such as ammonia, methane, and water are cold enough to condense to solid crystals? I don't know. I don't know. It's distance. It's distance. Yes. Like specific distance. Critical point. That's incorrect. The answer is frost line. Toss of 18, chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following molecules is not IR active? W, hydrogen gas. X, dichloromethane. Y, oxygen difluoride. Z, carbon dioxide. B3? W. That's correct. Your bonus is chemistry, short answer. At a temperature of 1,000 kelvins, the gas phase reaction of two moles of A and one mole of B to form one mole of C has a change in enthalpy of positive 1,000 kilojoules. To the nearest whole kilojoule, what is the change in internal energy for this reaction? This is for one mole of this? No, there was two beans, right? Wait, there was two beans. One mole beans. One mole beans. One mole beans. Um, so, like, negative. Wait, is this kilojoules? Five seconds. Say negative 1,000. Minus 1,000 kilojoules. Uh, it's incorrect. We were looking for 1,017. Toss-up 19, biology, short answer. Contrary to popular belief, the viceroy butterfly is just as unpalatable as its lookalike, the monarch butterfly. What type of interrupt, A3? Malusion. That's, that's stalling and an interrupt. Four points for team uh, B, and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss-up 19, biology, short answer. Contrary to popular belief, the viceroy butterfly is just as unpalatable as its lookalike, the monarch butterfly. What type of mimicry does this represent? B3. Batesian mimicry? Uh, incorrect. The answer is Mullerian. Toss of 20, Earth and space. Short answer. 
What geologic term describes the elevation difference between the highest and lowest points in a particular area? B1. Range. Incorrect. A1. Elevation. Incorrect. The answer is relief. Toss up 21. Physics. Short answer. Annie is standing at an unknown distance from, from a point charge, but she knows that the potential due to the, that charge at her point is 4 volts and the electric field strength is 12 volts per meter. To the nearest integer multiple of 10 centimeters, how far away is she from the charge? Hey, Captain? 30 centimeters. That is correct. Your bonus is physics, short answer. An object is placed 17 centimeters to the left of the vertex of a concave spherical mirror with a radius of curvature of 30 centimeters. Relative to the height of the original object, how many times larger will the image be? Two times. That's incorrect. The answer was 7.5. And that, that was the clock. So that's the match. Well done, both teams. Welcome to the final round of competition in the LADWP Science Bowl 25th Anniversary Regional Competition. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the moderator of our final round of competition, Sean Mayra. Thank you so much, Walter. Excited to be back here. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and get started with the final round. Let's uh, go ahead and do a quick buzzer check. We can start on the side here with uh, B3. If you could buzz in, wait to be recognized, give us your name, your school year, and your favorite organism other than humans. B3? I'm, I'm Max, I'm a senior at Laces, and um, manatees. They're pretty, they're pretty good. B2. Sam, a, a junior, and camels. <laughs> B captain. Murad, a uh, senior, and also camels. B1. Um, Nick, senior, and um, camels. <laughs> A3. Uh, Richard, senior, and um, dogs. A2. Dominic Ju, a senior, and cats. A captain. Albert Liu, junior, and giraffes. A1. Alex Ka, senior, and tortoises. Excellent. Only animals so far. <laughs> All right. Uh, good luck. Have fun. This is the final round of the LEDWP Science Bowl 2018. Toss up one is chemistry. Short answer. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of diamagnetic compounds. One, they contain an even number of electrons. Two, they do not respond to a magnetic field. Three, they contain unpaired elect interrupt by A captain. One only. That's correct. Your bonus is chemistry multiple choice. A student wishes to oxidize an aldehyde containing compound into a carboxylic acid. Which of the following classes of compounds should she look into as an oxidant? W, borohydrides, X, chromates, Y, sulfites, Z, aluminum hydrides. X. That's correct. Toss up two, physics, short answer. What type of ionizing radiation can be effectively shielded against with a thin sheet of paper interrupt by B. Captain? Alpha. That's correct. Your bonus is physics, short answer. A 1,000 watt elevator motor lifts a 500 newton load vertically from the ground floor to the top of a building in 30 seconds. How tall in meters is the building? 120. Uh, that's incorrect. The answer is 60. Toss up three, earth and space. Short answer. 
Place the following three geologic eras in chronological order. One, Paleozoic. Two, Mesozoic. Three, interrupt by A1. Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. That's correct. Your bonus is Earth and Space, short answer. Students sometimes struggle with the distinction between faults and tectonic plate boundaries. Identify all of the following three terms that are used to classify types of faults, but not to classify plate boundaries. One, divergent. Two, reverse. Three, normal. Reverse and normal classify faults. And not plate boundaries? And sure. not plate boundaries. Okay. Two and three. That's correct. Toss up four, math, short answer. What is the partial derivative with respect to y of the expression x cubed y squared? A captain. 2x cubed y. That's correct. Your bonus is math, short answer. You have two coins, one is fair, and the other is an unfair coin that comes up with heads 80% of the time. You grab one of the coins at random and flip a head. What is the probability that the coin you chose is the fair coin? Look at a head. Five out of nine. Is this true? Most certainly not. Uh, eight out of 13. Five seconds? Five out of 13. Five out of 13. Five out of 13. That's correct. Jesus. Toss up five. Biology, short answer. What is the botanical term that refers to the female gametangium in ferns and moss? Interrupt. A3. Archegonium. That's correct. Your bonus is biology, short answer. Identify all of the following three statements that are currently thought to be true of neurodegenerative diseases. One, Huntington disease is often associated with multiple CAG repeats. Two, Alzheimer's disease is associated with amyloid beta plaques. Three, Alzheimer's disease is associated with neurofibrillary tau tangles. Um, I don't know about one, but two and three for sure, right? So, repeats. It's like, what's Huntington's It's dominant. I don't think you just, I think you just guess. Five seconds? Yeah. All of them. That's correct. Toss up six, energy, short answer. The orbiting Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope, operating by DOE scientists at the SLAC National Accelerator Facility, must use an onboard computer to filter gamma ray signals from a background created by bombardment of high energy charged particles. What name is given to this energetic background in space? Interrupt by B1. Cosmic microwave background radiation. That's incorrect. And an interrupt. Uh, four points for team A, and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss up six. Energy. Short answer. The orbiting Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope, operating by, operated by DOE scientists at the SLAC National Accelerator Facility, must use an onboard computer to filter, filter gamma ray signals from a background created by bombardment of high energy charged particles. What name is given to this energetic background in space composed mostly of protons and atomic nuclei? That's A, Captain. Solar wind. Uh, incorrect. The answer we're looking for is cosmic rays. Toss up seven. Chemistry, multiple choice. A student is studying two unknown molecular compounds, A and B. The student finds that when an equal mass of each of them dissolves in water, the solution of compound A freezes at a lower temperature than the solution of compound B. Which of the following is a reasonable conclusion from this data? W. Molecule A has a larger vent to interrupt by B. Captain. W. That's incorrect and interrupt. Four points for team A, and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss up seven. Chemistry, multiple choice. A student is studying two unknown molecular compounds, A and B. The student finds that when an equal mass of each of each of them dissolves in water, the solution of compound A freezes at a lower temperature than the solution of compound B. Which of the following is a reasonable conclusion from this data? W, molecule A has a larger Van de Hoff factor than molecule B. X, molecule A has a smaller Van de Hoff factor than molecule B. Y, molecule A has a lower molecular mass than molecule B. Z, molecule A has a higher molecular mass than molecule B. A captain. Why? That's correct. Your bonus is chemistry, multiple choice. A chemist isolates a compound from a tropical plant that she suspects contains a nitrile functional group. Which of the following techniques would be best for determining the presence of a nitrile group? W, proton NMR spectroscopy. X, mass spectrometry. Y, IR spectroscopy. Z, liquid chromatography. IR spectroscopy is why. 
Five seconds. Why? That's correct. Toss of eight, physics, short answer. Identify all the following three scenarios in which heat transfer occurs through convection. One, boiling a pot of water. Two, baking a cake in an oven. Three, solar heating interrupt by B captain. All. That's incorrect and interrupt. Four points for team A and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss up eight, physics, short answer. Identify all the following three scenarios in which heat transfer occurs through convection. One, boiling a pot of water. Two, baking a cake in an oven. Three, solar heating of the earth. A1. One. 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 Yeah. That's incorrect. Uh, the, the, answer we're looking, the answer we're looking for is one and two. Toss up nine, math, short answer. What is the integer part of the log base two of 2000? B2. 11. That's incorrect. A captain. 10. That's correct. Your bonus is math, short answer. What is the distance between the two points with polar coordinates r equals six and theta equals 120 degrees, and r equals two and theta equals to zero degrees? Five seconds. Okay, one half. One half. Plus uh, fifty-two. Fifty-two. That's incorrect. The answer was two root thirteen, and we'll have a two-minute break at the half. This is the uh, second half of the final match. Do you have any substitutions at the half? Do you want to buzz in and remind us your name real quick? My name is To Hyun. All right. Don't forget to be recognized. A2. Awesome. All right. Any questions before we go ahead and dive right back in? Let's do it. Have fun. Good luck. Toss of 10. Biology. Multiple choice. A mouse population experiences an irreversible environmental change that makes it easier for predators to spot lighter colored mice. After many generations, the population contains a light. Interrupt. B3. Directional selection. That's incorrect and interrupt. Four points for team A and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss of 10, biology multiple choice. A mouse population experiences an irreversible environmental change that makes it easier for predators to spot lighter colored mice. After many generations, the population contains a higher frequency of individuals with dark fur. What type of selection is this? W, stabilizing. X, directional. Interrupt by A3. X. That's correct. Yeah. Your bonus is biology multiple choice. Increased production of which of the following hormones will not help in to conserve water in a human? W, aldosterone. X, vasopressin. Y, atrial natriuretic peptide. Z, renin. Okay, um, that, uh, what is it, why? Why? Yeah. Why? Okay. That's correct. Toss of 11, short answer, uh, energy, short answer. Astrophysicists from Los Alamos National Lab are using vast containers of water in search of dark matter through the detection of what type of, interrupt, B1. Neutrino. Incorrect, uh, and interrupt, four points for team A, and I'll reread the question. Toss up 11, energy, short answer. Astrophysicists from Los Alamos National Lab are using vast containers of water in search of dark matter through the detection of what type of radiation exhibited, from, exhibited by a ghostly blue light produced by charged particles moving through a medium at a speed greater than the phase velocity of light. A, Captain? Chernkov. That is correct. Your bonus is energy, multiple choice. Okay. Scientists at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab are using X-ray Microtomography to study the behavior of fabrics under strain to better inform the development of next generation parachutes. Which of the following best describes this technique? W, using radioactive particles to see inside the materials. X, imaging cross sections to build a 3D reconstruction of the materials. Y, using the inherent magnetic moment of protons to build a 3D image of the materials. Z, imaging the internal structure by diffracting x-rays through the heterogen heterogeneously dense materials. X. That's correct. Toss of 12, Earth and space, multiple choice. Which of the following pairs of characteristics is true of an open model of the universe? W, flat curvature, infinite extent. Interrupt by A1. W. 
Incorrect and interrupt, four points for team B, and I'll reread the question in its entirety. Toss of 12, earth and space, multiple choice. Which of the following pairs of characteristics is true of an open model of the universe? W, flat curvature, infinite extent. X, flat curvature, finite extent. Y, positive curvature, infinite extent. Z, negative curvature, infinite extent. B1. Y. Also incorrect, it was Z, negative cur curvature, infinite extent. Toss up 13, biology, multiple choice. What microscopy technique involves the repeated excitation interrupt by B. Captain? Scanning electron. That's incorrect and interrupt four points for team A and I'll reread the question. Toss up 13, biology, multiple choice. What microscopy technique involves the repeated excitation of a small fraction of the fluorophores in a sample in order to exceed the diffraction limit of light? W, super resolution. X, confocal. Y, phase contrast. Z, bright field. A, Captain? W. That's correct. Your bonus is biology multiple choice. People with the genetic condition phenylketonuria cannot properly metabolize the amino acid phenylalanine. Which of the following amino acid supplements do phenylketonuria patients require? W, arginine. X, proline. Y, tyrosine. Z, serine. Y. That's correct. Toss of 14 is physics, short answer. A car brake is capable of stopping the car wheels in one revolution, given that the initial angular velocity is W. How many revolutions will it take to stop the wheels if the initial angular velocity is 4 W? B, Captain? Four. Incorrect. A, two? Two. Also incorrect, it was 16. Toss of 15, chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following elements demonstrates the inert pair effect? W, aluminum. X, carbon. Y, lead. Interrupt, A, Captain. Y. That's correct. Your bonus is chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following statements best explains why NH3 is more basic than PH3? W, the lone pair in NH3 is in an orbital with more P character than the lone pair in PH3. X, the longer bond lengths in NH3 result in more basicity. Y, NH3 has less steric crowding than PH3, enabling it to take up a proton. Or Z, NH3 is less hybridized than PH3. Five seconds. W. That's correct. Toss of 16, Earth and space, multiple choice. Which of the following sedimentary rock types would most likely form offshore under deep hypoxic seawater? W, a red breccia. X, a well-sorted clean quartz sandstone. Y, a, stromatolit a, stromato a stromatolitic limestone. Z, a petroliferous shale. A1. Z. That's correct. Your bonus is earth and space, short answer. Identify all the following four features that are both glacial and depositional. One, aret. Two, esker. Three, cirque. Four, tarn. Esker, esker is depositional, yeah. Only two? Two only. That's correct. Toss up 17, math, short answer. The point, three comma negative five, is reflected through the y-axis, with the result then translated four units left. What are the coordinates? That's an interrupt by B. Captain. Negative seven comma negative five. That's correct. Your bonus is math, short answer. What is, what is the area of an equilateral triangle whose circumcircle has a radius of 12? 108 root three. That is correct. Toss up 18, energy, multiple choice. Which of the following battery types has the highest theoretical energy density? W, zinc carbon. X, lithium I interrupt by A captain. X. That's incorrupt, incorrect and interrupt. Uh, four points for team A, B and I'll reread. Toss up 18, energy, multiple choice. Which of the following battery types has the highest theoretical energy density? W, zinc carbon. X, lithium ion. Y, lithium air. Z, nickel cadmium. B2. Z. That's incorrect, the answer was Y, lithium air. Toss up 19 is earth and space, short answer. 
What is the name for the vertical region of the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram occupied by a majority of variable stars? A, Captain? Instability strip. That's correct. Your bonus is Earth and Space, short answer. Identify all of the following three constellations that lie entirely below zero degrees declination. One, Draco. Two, Octans. Three, Gemini. Gemini is a zodiac, so it's not. Yeah. <laughs> What's Draco? Hey, give him a spinner. Dr Draco? Oh. Okay, Draco, I don't know. Let's go. Draco's no. Five seconds. This is yes. Wait, is this yes? So, yeah. One and two. That's incorrect. It was two only, it octans. Was two. I said no. That's no. I said no. We said no. yes. <laughs> that was game. Okay. I think that's a single question. <laughs> While all of the teams did a great job this year, only one team can be called the regional champs. And this year, that title has gone to the North Hollywood's A team. And we want to congratulate the North Hollywood team for coming in second place at the Nationals, just behind Lexington High School from Massachusetts. Besides the honor of placing second in the National Science Bowl, the North Hollywood team also received a seven-day guided tour of Cordova, Alaska, where the students will experience glaciology, different ecosystems, marine biology, and local history. This is the ninth time North Hollywood High School has taken home a trophy from the Nationals.